to visit our brothers and sisters who are incarcerated, who are in prisons, and those who are in hospitals. And in line with that yesterday, I took a trip to Kawe at Mukoveko Maximum Prison to visit my relative and friends, Nixon Chilangwa, Ronald Chitotela, and his two brothers were incarcerated there. And also the council chairperson for Kawambwa. Initially, we were stopped by the prison authorities at higher levels who issued instructions that we shouldn't be allowed to go in. It took the intervention of the Minister of Home Affairs, Honorable Jack Mwimbu, for us to be told to go back and visit our relatives and friends. It's not the way it's supposed to be. We found them in good spirits. They are strong, but they have got concerns, very serious concerns. Honorable Chitotela is concerned about the unreasonable long time that it is taking to get his case concluded about his sentencing. He cannot appeal until he's sentenced. So he's in prison on a matter he feels on appeal he will be acquitted because he doesn't believe the judgment that was passed by the magistrate was fair and just. So is Honorable Chilangwa. His appeal that can help him get bail pending appeal is also not being handled in a manner that is fair and just. It's taking a very long time. Even if they are acquitted, there will be no recovery or recovering of the time they have lost in prison, the suffering they have endured in prison. They are in a maximum prison. It's not easy. They are stressed. And also the judgment that was given to them in Kawambwa was well known long before UPND leaders were talking about it. So there are so many questions about that judgment. And it's a judgment that cannot hold and left like that to hold. It needs to be appealed. It appealed in reasonable time. It's very clear, efforts, political efforts are being made to punish them in every way possible. They are being kept in prison and denied all the processes of their appeal are deliberate. This is not the way with our fellow citizens who are in prison. They say the humaneness of any nation is judged by the way it is. Prisoners. And we are not treating our political prisoners fairly. They are political prisoners. The issue on which they are convicted is political. They themselves are political persons. So the case, the issue is political. And it's very clear to everybody who has got eyes to see, who has got ears to hear. 
that honorable chitotela honorable chilangwa are victims of politics they are there because of politics we can only appeal to our judiciary to act in a manner that is fair and just that is not tainted with politics thank you very much to visit our brothers and sisters who are incarcerated who are in prisons and those who are in hospitals and in line with that yesterday i took a trip to kawe at mukobeko maximum prison to visit my relative and friends Nixon Chilangwa Ronald Chitotela and his two brothers were incarcerated there and also the council chairperson for Kawamba Initially we were stopped by the prison authorities at higher levels who issued instructions that we shouldn't be allowed to go in it took the intervention of the minister of home affairs honorable jack mwimbu for us to be told to go back and visit our relatives and friends it's not the way it's supposed to be we found them in good spirits they are strong but they have got concerns very serious concerns honorable chitotela is concerned about the unreasonable long time that it is taking to get his case concluded about his sentencing he cannot appeal until he is sentenced so he is in prison on a matter he feels on appeal he will be acquitted because he doesn't believe the judgment that was passed by the magistrate was fair and just so is honorable chilangwa his appeal that can help him get bail pending appeal is also not being handled in a manner that is fair and just is taking a very long time even if they are acquitted there will be no recovery or recovering of the time they have lost in prison the suffering they have endured in prison